Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout using the Studio Calico Double Scoop Kit and I am down to my scraps and I'm trying to use the rest of what I have and there's these Halloween stickers and I'm just not, uh, I might try to do one, I have a couple pictures of my son, um, he went out trick-or-treating this year and um, my daughter has a few pictures of my grandson, but um, I don't have them with me. So um, I don't know if those stickers will be used yet. So again, I'm down to my scraps. I'm just trying to use up whatever I can. And this is a picture of my daughter and my grandson. I was taking pictures of them at the apple place and my son comes from in behind the tree he climbed the tree from the back side of it again and all of a sudden he's peeking through the trees and he's like you know almost like what am i chopped liver like you used to take pictures of me all the time and now that mason's here you know like <laughs> you don't take pics of me anymore and usually he's like no i don't want to take a picture of me and this time he was you know all over it he wanted to be in the picture so I'm at the photo on a piece of scrap of vanilla cardstock that I had and then I'm going to use that blue navy and cream polka dot and then um, I'm going to use that acetate as the top of the page because I thought you know it'd be kind of neat because you can kind of you know it was a sunny cloudy day if you remember my stories it was really cloudy before we got there and then it kind of um, cleared up and it was really nice and I'm thinking of using some of that brand strip and now I'm going to start taking out stickers and everything to see what else I could put on this page and again I'm going to use the leftovers of the stickers so basically I cut everything that's around it and then I leave it on the backing and then all that's left is whatever was left of when they printed the sticker there was just a little bit left and I'm gonna use that and then there was a full sticker that I wanted to use and it just kind of had flowers on it and um, this layout I believe it's either the 14th or the 15th layout I'm not sure because I'm actually recording this uh, my son has a hockey tournament this weekend so I brought my computer and um, my mic and everything because I thought I'd keep doing voiceover while we were at the hockey tournament because they had to go out and you know my son needed a swim trunk and because he forgot his and um, his skate sharpened so I thought well while they're out up and about doing that I'd get one video the voiceover done and um, so that's why I'm not really sure because I'm not home and I did this layout over a week ago so and I just of course I don't have the layout in front of me so I uh, I basically have to just go with what is on the screen because I don't remember the steps of this layout whatsoever so I'm going to keep um, looking for different things and then there was some freckled fawn stickers that came in this kit and there was little silver stars and I thought that would go well I love blue and silver together I know it's mostly for Christmas but I still love those two colors together and um, these stickers came in the kit and so I'm going to spell liver with that because that's what the title is going to be you know what am I chopped liver and I'm going to use several different fonts to to make the title so now I'm looking through my little selection of October afternoon stickers that I have right across from where I scrap and these are some of my favorites I use them all the time I think I have three or four sheets of those because I just love them so much so it looks like I walked away So now I'm just putting down the you know number of times that I use the stickers and then I'm taking out some mini markets. The other one were called sticky keys and these are mini markets in teal and cream I think it's called. So I'm going to use that for what am I and then chop liver because the circle ones obviously take more room but by having three different fonts it just makes the title more interactive. 
And now I'm looking at some of the stickers that um, Maureen gave me in a rack and I'm going to try and use those on this layout. So there's dark navy stars, a dark navy arrow, and now I'm going to start looking into more stickers, more um, there was a sheet that had all kinds of cut aparts on the back. So I'm going to take what's left of that. There's not a lot. There was a big stack when I started, you know, working with this kit. And now I'm down to, you know, little bits and pieces. So I cut a four by six card, a project life card. I cut it in two and I'm going to put it to the left and the right of the page. And now I'm once I feel like I have enough stuff, then I'm going to start putting it together. So basically what I do now is I'm going to go through my sticker books and I think I've put about four aside for this kit. Uh, usually I have a container right full of stuff and this time there was so many um, embellishment in this kit that I decided to just have stickers so that I would have things to ground my embellishment clusters and also just have a stack of project life cards and of course my doilies but I don't want to use I said that a few times I don't want to do use doilies all the time I'm trying to mix it up a little bit so I'm trying to use more stickers and I just finished that first sheet and this book here is just about all used up like and I'm going to use a few more stickers on, you know, future layouts. So that book is almost done. I'm going to pull out those clouds because I thought how perfect because the acetate has clouds on the background. So now there's going to be stars on the background and on the foreground, you know, because it's going to be on top of the acetate. And I had a question and I don't have my cell phone close to me. And someone was asking what that little tool was that I was taking the stickiness away. So again, it's an EK Success powder tool and you can get it at Simon Says Tam and just about every online scrapbooking stores, I think it's just an EK Success tool. So if you look under EK Success, you shouldn't have a problem finding it. So now I find like I, you know, have enough stuff. So I'm going to start gluing all the layers down. I'm going to use my ATG gun and the backside of that navy and cream polka dot that is the sheet that i cut apart the second sheet i cut that one apart and that's where i'm getting a lot of the um, bits and pieces that i'm using to embellish the embellishment clusters so i'm going to use one of those brand strips as a um, because the acetate kind of just kind of finished right there. So I, I, instead of using washi tape, I'm just going to use a brand strip. And now I'm taking one of my Stedler markers, writing markers, and I'm going to outline all the pattern papers. Now, once that is done, I'm just going to glue down all the layers. And um, we only have about half an hour left and we have to leave for our third game. We give you a little update. They tied the first game. They won the second game 3-0 and now we're off to our third game. I believe we're in seventh place right now. And there's every team has another game to play. And the team we're playing today is in seventh place. So if we win them, we should technically go up to sixth or if anybody else and it's the first eight teams that make it into the quarterfinal so that means if we win today we we move on so um, it's a pretty important game so the kids are pretty excited and they played amazing last night it was so fun to watch and now I'm going to start gluing down those stickers and I didn't know if I wanted to put so that it was over top that project life card or in behind and again, it's just sort of the leftover from the stickers, but I love that it kind of does a little frame on the page. Like, I love that. And um, I was just about ready to throw them out. And I'm like, what could I use those for? You know, like, it just seems that you could do something else with those instead of just throwing them out. And then um, 
I had to cut one apart for something for one of the layouts and um, and that's what gave me the idea of just kind of using just the outline and then I'm going to use some of those uh, arrows that got that came in one of my freckled font kit and again I'm looking to see if I can use those epoxy uh, borders from cut and paste Amy Tangerine I'm trying to get them all used up that whole package so I don't know if at some point during the recording you heard a ton of noise there was because I'm not usually where I live it's in the country so there's usually not too many noises but like right now there's a huge tractor trailer going by just be a few minutes ago there was an ambulance and then you could hear the kids they're fooling around just outside my door here and uh, from our team getting all hyped up for the game and uh, so that's that's why I'm not in my craft room I'm in the hotel room and I thought I'd get a voiceover done so probably but not probably by the time this is uploaded to my YouTube channel I'll be home again but um, I just wanted to keep doing voiceovers so that um, by the time I get home I you know I have two or three more done and I can just keep moving along so I'm going to use one of those Amy Tangerine epoxy borders and it was like three types of blues and it just coordinates with this layout really well and then there was a freckled fawn a wood veneer frame and I can't remember if that came in this month's kit or if that came from one of my freckled fawn kits but anyway I'm going to use it on this layout I'm going to put some foam tape in behind one of the stickers and uh, the foam tape is from scotch and I bought it at custom crops and it comes in a huge roll and I've had it for I'd say about a year because we're February 22nd today and I think I got it at the beginning of March last year maybe middle of March so it's about 11 months old and I still have tons left so it was worth um, it was worth getting the big roll and not having to fuss with getting little packages here and there all the time and it's still and it's still quite sticky and um, it's not in any way changed in its physical look so you know maybe if it takes me three years to use it maybe at that point it won't be as sticky and I'll have to add some quick dry adhesive maybe I don't know but I'd say I have probably half of it used up because of course as the smaller it gets the faster you go around the circles to you know uh, it's going to unroll a whole lot faster so I'm using again some of those pieces of pattern papers it was a sheet that that blue navy blue and the cream polka dots on the back of it it's all little bits and pieces of almost like ephemera that I cut apart and there was tons and that's what helped with this kit with um, that I didn't have to use so many other things because I had that that I cut apart there was another sheet that I cut apart and then there was transparencies and stars and there was just so many things now those thickers um, when a few days ago when I took all the layouts I had about six layouts that I had to photograph um, the letters fell off so I had to put um, quick dry adhesive in behind to make sure that it didn't um, it wouldn't fall in my in my album so the battery's gonna die but I'm just gonna keep going all I did was add some mist and a little bit of twine but again I'm just trying to get through so that I can start the scrap tastic kit so now I'm going to show you close-ups of every little cluster and that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye